For 65, macular degeneration is an eye disease that affects more than 15 million Americans. People who are diagnosed with the condition are devastated because they are usually told there's not much that can be done. But that's changing. A doctor right here in Wilmington has developed a supplement that's offering patients hope. For years, Dr. Ed Paul did what other eye specialists did when looking into the eyes of people with macular degeneration. He told them they had a debilitating eye disease. Macular degeneration leads to vision loss. It's essentially a loss of central vision. The eye literally starts to degrade or starts to oxidize, much like a bumper on an old car starts to oxidize and flake off. In 2001, Dr. Paul took a six-year sabbatical to work on something he's had a passion for for years finding a treatment for macular degeneration. He developed a supplement called Tozol. The soft gel supplement contains taurine, omega-3s, zinc, antioxidants, and lutein. And while it's a supplement, it was tested like a pharmaceutical agent, so it requires a prescription. It's the first FDA prescription medication for age-related macular degeneration. Tozol is taken once a day, three soft gels at one time. Tozol slows the progression of the disease in all patients, but for many, their vision actually improves. We're finding roughly 6 out of 10 patients within 6 months are seeing better. We're seeing that roughly 3 out of 4 patients at 6 months have either seen better or their vision has stabilized. Dr. Paul makes it clear this is not a cure for macular degeneration, but it offers patients these days something that was not an option just a few years ago. If I had one message for the viewers, if you have macular degeneration and you've been told nothing could be done, that's not necessarily the truth. Uh, while we're still limited in what we can do for this disease, there's always hope. Now, Dr. Paul says the only real side effect to Tozol is that it seems to give most patients a little more energy. That's something most of them can deal with. Again, Tozol is not a cure.